Airport will be forced to close its doors later this year after the Savannah Airport Commission has invoked eminent domain against that property. The commission took control of one of the buildings at the Quail Run Lodge back in January, and now that building has been torn down. WTOC's Shay Schrader joins us live at the lodge, and Shay, can you give us a look at that building? Yeah, Arya, absolutely. We're standing outside what used to be building 400 right now, but as you can see, it's pretty much been completely torn down. There is still one wall left up, but as you can see, the windows are blown out of what used to be sliding glass doors. There's fencing all over the ground, little bits of wood, and behind that wall, you can actually see construction equipment that is going to be used to tear what is left of this building down. Now, the owner of Quail Run Lodge, Daniel Connell, says that they've been gutting the building for the past several months, but it didn't come down until last week. 35 people used to live here. Obviously, they don't anymore as their homes have been reduced now. Center blocks. And meanwhile, Connell says that the other people that live at Quail Run Lodge and the remaining buildings are struggling to find affordable housing to move to before their buildings come down as well. Man, I just spent the last two weeks literally crying herself to sleep because they're tearing down the building and a business that she was part of developing for the last 29 years. Connell's manager isn't the only one upset that Building 400 has officially been torn down. It's an urgent reminder to everyone that lives at the lodge that they only have until July 1st to be out of their buildings. But for many of the long-term residents at the lodge, finding new housing is a challenge. I've been retired for the last three years, and now I'm having to go back to work because I got to pay Pay, pay a higher price to live now, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Saxon isn't the only one returning to work. David Dennis, who's 68 years old, says he's lived at Quail Run Lodge for the last 18 years. But to afford to find a new home, he's going back to work full time. But even with the possibility of a new job, he says just finding somewhere to live is tough. It's just really, really nothing available. And, and, and the prices are outrageous. According to Connell, the monthly price to stay at the Quail Run Lodge is around $900 to $1,000. According to the apartmentlist.com, which analyzes rental data nationwide, the average rent in Savannah is around $1,900. Connell says he knows that his 65 tenants, many of which are on fixed income, will struggle to find other housing. He says ideally he would like to be given enough money to buy another hotel and move his tenants there, but he's not going to get that without legal action. I'm not somebody standing in the middle of the runway making them all go around me, but I just think there should be a better way to handle the situation than to let it go to a jury trial and go through all this drama. And it's not something I'm looking forward to, but what, what choice do you have? I did reach out to the Savannah Airport Commission for comment, but they said they weren't able to talk about the situation because there are some legal issues still ongoing with it. Connell says that, of course, he is trying to work things out with the Savannah Airport Commission, so it doesn't have to go to a jury trial. There is nothing slated at this time. Coming up on the next half hour of V News at Daybreak, I'm going to have a closer look at what that legal process is going to look like for both sides of the issue. Live in Savannah, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.